The next piece of preparation that we're gonna do is get the magnet installed in the fuel selector valve. Um, we're gonna have a whole separate segment on how to get this mounted into the shroud. Right now we're just worried about the magnet. So this handle comes off from that little screw in the middle there, two and a half millimeter hex key on there. You unscrew that, the handle will start to come up at the same time. And that's easy as that. On the fuel selector handle, you've got three void holes, one, two, three, and we're using the top one near the tip of the selector. That's gonna be where the magnet goes into in there. So I'm gonna mix up some epoxy real quick, get some put in there. The epoxy comes with the system. It's just a two part, it's a quick set epoxy. It's only a five minute working time. So, you know, don't let this sit around. So I'm gonna get that mixed up. I'll get it put into the handle, get the magnet set in there. And then for the prep work out here for now, that's gonna be it. We're gonna go inside and we're gonna start running the harness. Okay, so there's your magnet installed and the epoxy is just gonna set now. It's a five minute working time. It's gonna be a little bit longer on the set time. So we're just gonna put that aside while we work on other stuff. Just get the face of the magnet flush with the face of the selector valve. And uh, you could even take, like we use this razor blade, you know, to cut the epoxy open. You could do that just to kind of let it sit there. And then just move it over and sets it perfectly. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do on the bench, but you're going to do this in the aircraft during installation, is get the fuel selector valve all squared away. First off, this is a TSI shroud with the larger ring on it with the larger volume in here. Not every TSI is gonna have this. Some of them have a smaller diameter shroud. If you're that person, then not all of this is gonna apply to you, but the process is gonna be similar. In this case though, we've got this cutout ring and what we do is we got the notch that goes up. So this is the top, this is where the panel goes. So it goes up. You get it lined up, you drill the four holes in the corner, Clico them, and then you've got this nice cutout in the middle to then use as a template to cut out your shroud. Once you get that cut out and you get the leather shaved with a razor blade or something like that, this will be ready to go. We're gonna get to the outer bezel assembled real quick before we get the fuel valve put in and put together for that matter. This ring here is uh, kind of like a doubler ring, but it, it goes on the back side in this shroud and it gives a uh, nice backing for the bezel to mount to. So what I'm gonna do is these guide rods come in the kit. I'm gonna thread these guide rods just a little bit into these rib nuts in opposite corners. Notch down. And then I'm just gonna feed them into the holes that you drilled with the template into the shroud. Then what I can do is I can take this plate, sling a logo at the top, and I can drop that on there, and then I can screw the other two corners in. Before you get these too snug, pull your guide rods out so that they don't get too snug in there as well. Then we'll get the other two corners in, cinch all four down, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so here's everything installed and secured. There's the ring on the back, notched down. You can see there's a connector there. Now, we're gonna assume that we're going into the aircraft uh, at this point, but we're showing this on the bench just for demonstration purposes. Coming over to the fuel selector, we've got this ring that needs to go on. So you just get it around these four nubs. You've got this cutout here to help you do that. Get it down in there. You might have to kind of tweak it a little bit. Um, the bottom, of the ring, the notch, is on the flat side here of the valve. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these guide rods, again, thread them on opposite corners into the riv nuts. And one quick note, if you're doing a retrofit and you have riv nuts in this flange, you have to drill those out. Uh, so anyway, so we got these in here. At this point, we're assuming that your fuel lines are all attached onto this. So what you do is you come in from the back of the shroud. And as you're assembling this, you just want to make sure that everything goes in nicely and lays down flat. 
And then from the front side, we're gonna take this plate. And then same drill as before, screw down the corners a little bit. Pull the rods. Get my other two screws in. Okay, so before we put our selector handle on, everything's screwed down, everything's nice and flat. So now we'll just go ahead. There's a little uh, nylon piece in the bottom there that lines up with the notch carved into the shaft. So we'll get that started on there. We'll get our wrench, two and a half millimeter hex wrench, and we'll screw it down until it stops. Then we'll just check the function. Make sure it locks when it's supposed to. And that's the assembly. So now um, we'll show you, again, assuming that everything's all hooked up in the aircraft, we'll quickly show you what we do to test this because this is the last piece. So before you get everything assembled, we just want to make sure that electrically everything's working the way it's supposed to and um, you know that all your pressures and everything are where they should be.